When I was a young pup, still trucking through the daily grind in a pair of huggies, I had an alter ego named Cowboy John. John was a tough-talking, rough-riding, no-nonsense kind of lawman that kept things on the up-and-up around the family ranch, but he also wore red high heels. They looked good, and he looked damn good in them. I looked damn good in them. One evening, old man Dennison put me on his knee and told me, Cowboys can't wear high heels. It wasn't a sexist thing or some worry that I'd grow up wearing women's underwear under business suits for the rest of my life. It was a matter of functionality. The heels would get caught in the stirrups, and I'd be in a real pickle if Black Eyed Bill got a hold of me. You can bet your spurs. So no more high heels. Consequently, no more Cowboy John. The death of a dream. The end of an era. I cried in cowboy solitude for days. I was taught the key expectations of reality from a very early age. You're not going to like all of your responsibilities. Everyone you know is going to die. And you can't wear high heels if you're a cowboy. I huffed and puffed about all of them, but eventually... I have found all of these points to be true. So I believe in letting go. I packed up Cowboy John for good. I conceded that I can't order chicken nuggets at the Olive Garden. I now understand and accept that I am not a valued applicant for Calvin Klein modeling. I take deep breaths. I count to ten. I move on. I have dwelled over lost girlfriends and jobs and dogs and money, that favorite pair of underwear I could never find after Summer Camp 98. And I've got all the dead folks, the parents, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, the nieces, the nephews, the cousins, sharing all the diseases and misfortunes to be cursed and eradicated by greater mankind. It's all a tremendous bummer, and there's always a scapegoat to be made. A raging workaholic, a working rageaholic, out of rehab and in denial. It's out of control, it's all in my head, and after every wipeout, knockout, dropout, fallout, I can open my weary bloodshot eyes and see the golden billboard flashing over the expressway. Let it go! I've seen entire lives destroyed by the persistence of memory, and I've seen happiness stabbed through the gullet in an effort to defeat these memories. The retention of resentment, contrary to our most popular beliefs, is not about what someone did to you. It is about your inability to let it go. Or my inability to let it go. It's about our inability to let it go. But now I move on. The sun wakes up every morning and pisses in somebody's face, and every once in a while... It's going to be me. So I towel off. I move on. The world leaves no shin unkicked. But you've got to pull on your high heels, mount your faithful two-by-four, and ride on.